Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltech's Technically Speaking. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Haltech IQ3 Street dash systems. The ever popular IQ3 dash just got street ready and a whole lot EFI friendlier. With more channels, integrated aftermarket EFI CAN and OBD2 connectivity, streetcar display functions and flexible sensor inputs, the IQ Street is one of the simplest and most cost effective dash systems on the market today. The IQ3 Street is available in two models, the display and the logger. The only difference between these two models is the ability to log to the 4GB SD card in the logger model. If you have a car with a current aftermarket engine management system, the IQ3 Street allows connectivity with over 20 different engine management brands to display and or log all the sensor values that are already being utilised by the engine management system. Likewise, if you have a car with a late model factory engine management system after around 2006, you can choose the OBD2 as the ECU type and the IQ3 dash will communicate with the factory engine management system. This eliminates the need to install extra sensors for the dash when they're already in the engine. If you have a car that doesn't have an engine management system but instead has a carburetor and a distributor, you can still use the Haltech IQ3 Street Dash. This is because each of the IQ3 Street Dashes have the following dedicated inputs. Engine RPM, road speed, fuel level, oil pressure, oil temperature and coolant temperature. Any or all of these dedicated inputs can be used in conjunction with an engine management system or as a standalone installation. In addition to the engine sensors, Haltech IQ3 street dashes also have the following dedicated inputs. Left and right turn signals or indicators, e-brake or park brake, high beam and parkers or tail lights. The left and right turn signals trigger a green LED on the left or right hand side of the dash depending on which way you're turning. The e-brake or park brake triggers a red LED to let you know the park brake is on. The high beam input indicates a blue LED to let you know that the high beams are on. Or the parkers or the tail light input dims the dash so it's not so bright at night, just like a factory dash. The IQ3 street dash also has two outputs, one of which is an external warning light and a shift light while the other can be triggered off any of the sensor values the dash is reading. For example, you can use this output to trigger a thermofan relay when the coolant temperature exceeds a certain value set by you. All of these direct inputs and outputs are wired through an industry standard 34 pin AMP connector on the back of the dash alongside the mini USB communication port which is used to program the dash and the Racepack VNet port which is used to add a huge variety of all of the race pack sensors. The 34 pin AMP connector is supplied with the dash in a flying loom style. This means that all the wires are terminated into the connector and all you need to do is connect each color coded wire to its corresponding function in the car. Once the dash is up and running, you'll notice the shift lights along the top of the screen, which work in a progressive fashion from the outside in. You can program when each set of these lights turn on. The lights located slightly lower on each side of the dash are the indicators, high beam and handbrake light that we've already been through. The handbrake light is a little special in the way it turns on when the handbrake is on but also is used as a programmable warning light which can be triggered by up to 8 different conditions. In the event of a warning light being triggered we can set up a text display along the bottom of the screen so you immediately know what the problem is and the value that's been triggered. You can program the intensity or brightness of the shift lights, warning lights and backlighting of the dash as well as dimming all the lighting when the headlights are on. Once you have your sensors connected to your dash, it's time to set up the display. The Haltech IQ3 display is capable of up to four different configurations which we can scroll through with a button that is wired into the AMP connector on the back of the unit. Each of these configurations can display up to seven different values. For example, we might have RPM, manifold pressure, air fuel ratio, oil pressure and fuel pressure and gear on our first page. While we might have RPM, odometer, trip meter, battery voltage, coolant temp and gear on the second page. It's up to you how you'd like to configure your four display pages. 
To mount the Haltech IQ3 Street into your car, there's a few different methods. You can use an alloy backing plate, which would be attached to the steering column or similar. You can install a mounting panel, which has a recess for the dash to fit into, then trim to size to fit into your factory cluster area. We offer these in textured black, brushed silver, and carbon look plastic. You can also make your own mounting bracket if you prefer, using the three mounting studs on the back of the dash and the mounting template that's included with the packaging. So don't throw that out. And finally, when you're ordering your Haltech IQ3 Street Dash, don't forget to order the EFI interface cable that suits your particular brand of engine management. Well, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. And if you've got any specific questions about the new Haltech range of dashes, please drop us an email or leave them in the comments below. As always, thanks very much for watching. My name's Scott, and I'll see you next time.